really iconic European music venues? Um, well, the idea of, of uh, singing with symphony orchestras around the world was actually inspired by something because I, I'd actually heard that Tony Bennett had done it recently. I thought, what a lovely idea to actually go to various places around the world and play with those symphony orchestras. Um, originally, uh, I hoped to play almost entirely theatres and the places that those symphony orchestras would normally play and then it became fairly obvious that I was either going to have to play each one for two weeks or, or I would uh, not get to play to enough of my fans really. Um, and the idea of actually singing uh, with this kind of backing has been very attractive to me for a long period of time but I kind of thought it was something that, um, for instance, when I made the, the songs from the Last Century album, the reason I didn't... Um, go and do what would have been the obvious thing to do, uh, which was play at the Albert Hall, film it and make a big deal of it, was I thought almost that I was, at that time I guess I was 37, I thought I was almost too young to be making that statement because it's the kind of thing people tend to do closer to the end of their careers. Um, it couldn't be further from the truth then, and it's still not true to, to say that I'm ready to be a crooner and, and not much more, because of course uh, during this tour and in the breaks that there are on this tour, I'll be recording a brand new album, which is about as far away from this Symphonica idea as um, could be imagined, really. And I felt that it was a great time. I, I felt very kind of re-energized after some of my recent uh, troubles. And uh, I felt it was a really good time. What, what do I want as an artist? As an artist at this stage, I think I've said before that I'm really not interested or excited by repeating former successes um, and in my writing I think I try to keep changing things about but at this stage in life there are two elements um, that I feel can be explored further. One is dance music and one is the idea of my voice. And uh, I think there's always been um, a very obvious uh, love from my fans for both sides of what I do. And as an artist, I think all you can want is to make each new piece of music more authentic to who you really are. It, once your ego is sated in a way, and once you're really not worrying about charts, and believe me, I'm, luckily I'm not worrying about charts very much, um, once that's happened, authenticity becomes the thing you strive for. And that means to me more honesty and more of myself in each of those areas. So I think musically, um, both things will be very different to what people are expecting, but they're both more honest and... and um, and I've always wanted to sing with this kind of backing so I could really, really use my voice and not just concentrate on keeping thousands and thousands of people really excited for two and a half hours. Um, I've probably got one more of those tours in me, but right now I'd like to have uh, something slightly different. And then the album, which is something, again, which is me being far more true to myself in terms of lyrical content, in terms of the music that I listen to now, having uh, been an out gay man for the best part of... 13 or 14 years so both projects are are distinctly uh very distinctly separate and but i want to work on them both together and so that in my mind the progress is is all happening at the same time maybe because i feel i have so much time to make up for um and i really hope that that my fans and possibly some new fans will will arrive at, um with each project, because they really are going to be very different. of trying to uh, kind of stay on the straight and narrow as it were then there's nothing better than work that you love and so I thought I should tour sooner rather than later it's so clear. 